hello out there in YouTube land. I got some stuff to talk about and this right here and I'll let you know what that is in a bit. So stick around, we'll get right to it. This is Surviving 2 coming to you with another video. Thanks for sticking around, I appreciate it. Uh, it's been about a month, almost a month. Uh, I think the last video I posted was on the 23rd. So I figured I'd jump on here. Finally got some fairly decent weather and it's not blowing my hat off. <laughs> God, we've had winds around here that have been about 45 to 50 miles an hour at times so yeah it's been a little breezy and makes for hard even though i've got a lapel mic and everything else makes it really hard to hear so i just decided not to do anything until now when we got some calm winds so well let's start off with this i showed you this in the beginning this is a outer layer of Polar Tech. It's, uh, as you can see, a sock and it's got flat stitching on on it and it's really cool. Uh, picked it up off Amazon. It's made to have a base layer go under it and then this go on over it and then go into your boots. Well, I just been, the temperature hadn't been cold enough to put the base layer on yet but this has been doing pretty good. It wicks the moisture and all out and helps retain the heat. And here's a couple of labels. So that's pretty cool. Uh, from what I was reading on one of the labels, it was designed or something like that in the Ukraine and I think it was in 2015, but anyway, so I thought I'd give it a try. Got it from Amazon. Pricey, yeah, it's a little bit expensive. I think it was like $26 for the pair, something like that. I'll probably note it here on the screen somewhere. And as far as the link, just look up the number and all on it on the tags and you can find it. It's fairly simple. It's not rocket science. <laughs> so, uh, other than that, what else has been going on? I know I've had people ask about my health. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Not bad, not bad. I uh, have been pretty much allergy free, except for that one time when I was silly enough to sleep on the ground and uh, the grass was still active and everything and I got clogged up so other than that I got my sprays and nasal decongestant and oh yeah, I am getting this is what I'm getting here for my allergies I get one of these in one arm and one of these in the other arm and you can see the vials they're fairly small but let's see which one was it they've been they've only been using one vial that's this one right here right behind my finger and it's not very not a lot gone so they start with a low dose and they've been working up to higher doses and like I said I've only had the three three sets of shots now as far as this doctor I decided to go ahead and keep this guy. Uh, I just have to make sure I ask plenty of questions so that I know what's going on and I understand everything. Now, the main reason why I'm keeping him is I've been looking at the billing that he's been submitting to the insurance. Insurance has been answering back to him there's a lot that the insurance is not paying for and I'm not getting billed for it so and they know about it so that's good I haven't had to pay anything since I went in so 
hey, I can live with that. That's like, uh, I think these shots, the Medicare picked up part of it, but the rest of it, they didn't pick up, and the doctor said, don't worry about it. We'll eat it. So, and every time I go in for shots, I'm not being charged anything. They're just, I just have to make an appointment and go up there. Now, I know some of you are asking, why don't I give myself shots? Well, for one, I can't friggin' stand needles. <laughs> I have got a phobia. I can watch everything else. I can see blood, I can see injuries, wounds, all that. It doesn't bother me. But it, when it comes to me and needles, when I was a kid, I had a really bad experience with a nurse and needles. Since then, I don't want a needle anywhere near me. I can't stand to look at it. I nothing. So they give me the shots. So far, I've gotten one nurse twice, and both times I never felt it. So she's really good. I like her. Hopefully, I get her more often than I get the others. So anyway, uh, where do we go from there? Uh, COVID around here. Yeah, I'm still COVID free, staying here, staying safe. <laughs> and they've started a few weeks back, maybe three weeks or more. I forget how long it's been now. It's, they started handing out the vaccines and inoculating everybody. It's been, yeah, it's been three weeks now or more because the doctors and nurses are now going back and getting their second shot. And they're also doing the older folks at the nursing homes and things like that. The real at-risk people and they're getting a uh, mega center opened up. I think it was just the first part of this week it opened up and they're wanting everybody to uh, do all that. So, uh, I'm not signing up yet. I'm gonna wait a little bit and hopefully they'll, they've talked about giving it out to the pharmacies and some doctors and stuff like that. I've already talked to my doctor about it. If they get it, they'll let me know. And we'll just see where we go from there. And I'll just kind of Stay here, stay safe, and keep wearing my mask and or masks. I'm wearing two. I wear an N95 first, and then I put a cloth mask over the top of it, along with gloves, to make sure I don't get anything. And then when I come back from whatever I'm doing before I get in my vehicle and take all this garb off, I wipe my hands down and everything else that I've touched with my hands with uh, disinfecting wipes. So, yeah, I'm being careful, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, what else is going on? Oh yeah, I've been playing with the some security cameras and the particular one I got a hold of is W, let me see if I remember right, W-Y-Z-E, WISE, security camera. It's a fairly small thing, wireless. All you gotta do is have a USB power to it. The first version I got that I'm playing with, the one camera, I've been moving it around to different locations and taking video and stuff like that and seeing what it'll do before I invest a lot of money into it. I wanna make sure it's something I can live with, I want. And so far, so good. I know I've had other people say that they can't get video from it onto their computer. I don't have a problem. I got my phone, it picks up, you know, the, camera and everything and I can view it from the phone and I can save or download the pictures. I can go back and look at a timeline. The alerts that it gives me are 12 seconds long. 
but it does a recording of motion. And no matter how long that motion goes, it'll continue to record. So I can go back into that and I can hit play and then hit record and it will record all of that no matter how long until I stop it or until it ends. And I've had some of them that are pretty long. I also found out that it'll do time lapse, which I set up a time lapse uh, last Sunday. Today is Saturday, last Sunday I set up a time lapse and this is what I got. Now you can see from the timestamp that uh, when it was and how long it was is only like a couple hours long, but it was snowing pretty hard and then all of a sudden it quit snowing and everything melted. <laughs> That's about my luck. <laughs> But there were areas around here that are close that they got anywhere from a dusting to eight inches. So, and for the most part, it didn't stick to the road. So travel wasn't a problem. People could get around. And then uh, something else. Oh yeah, while well, I was had the camera set in one location, I took this video of cats playing. Now this one cat is playing with a dead bird that they had brought up and left in the yard. After they're playing with the bird, then they start playing amongst themselves and the one cat chases the other cat up on top of a truck. Okay, so that's, uh, I'm gonna say I don't have a problem. The computer, I take a uh, Android emulator and I've got it on the computer and then I install the app to it and I can view and record and play and do all kinds of stuff from get alerts from there. So, and I can get them off and get them to the computer file system and as you see you play them so I don't know what people are talking about that they can't get videos I can get videos no problem hang on I gotta get a drink of coffee I know this video has been kind of hectic and wild and everything and from one subject to another but yeah I just kind of wanted to fill everybody in a little bit about what's going on and that's basically it so here it is saturday uh the two what is it the they're not divisional yeah they are divisional playoff games for nfl football they're going to be playing i'm going to be watching them uh, this weekend has two games on saturday two games on sunday next weekend it'll be two games period probably on sunday and then the Super Bowl after that in about two weeks time. So yeah, I'll be watching all that. I'm a 
football nut. I like watching it. I like watching college too. Watch the college playoff games and stuff like that. So I got varied taste. <laughs> Other than that, I guess that's about it. Uh, show and tell right now. The sock, I, like I say, that's still an uh, ongoing situation. So this really wasn't a review. It's just kind of letting you know what I've got and what I'm messing with. So, all right, I'm out of here for now. Y'all take care. Be safe. And I'll see you on the next one. Oh, wait a minute. You'll see me. I won't see you. I'm looking at the camera, so. All right. Enough. Later. I want to thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. Until then, later. Later.